It is so much going on, but I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's, a whole lot, a lot of going on. it's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. Got my sugar, honey, iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. P.O.P. You can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. A lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. There's a whole lot, a lot of going on. Hey creeps, and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP, and that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Y'all, it is April the 22nd. How much longer we got this month? I mean, we are on the last week. Oh, bitch, I know you last. It's about to be May. Y'all know who birthday is that? Call down and let April have the rest of what they have, child. Mm, hey, April. Okay, well, y'all made it through another week. I am so happy for y'all because, like I say, it's always so much going on. People are not waking up in the morning. Things are happening, struggling, depression, whatever the case may be. But you are here. You're with me. We're having fun. We're sharing some laughs. And that is always a plus. So just know that you are blessed, honey. Blessed, 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 blessed. I can't say that enough. Now, before we start, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Dion. Hey, bitch. Dion, thank you so much for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post, and I greatly appreciate that. It warms my heart to know that y'all want to know what I got to say, and also because you want to be the first on Wednesday Monday. All right, you guys, make sure you go over there and show him love, retweet, like it up. Also, he's a barb, honey, so what's tea? And anyway, um, again, thank you, Dion. Hey, bitch. All right, child. I ain't going to hold y'all too long because, you know, we're going to just get through this get through. Talk about what we talk about, but we ain't talk about nobody. And um, I'm going to get to y'all favorite part. That is the shit, the sugar, honey, iced tea. Because you girls love staying in some shit. First for the sugar, honey, iced tea, we have be a young boy. Now, how you get locked up while you on house arrest is beyond me. I do not know. So the tea is... They caught him and some folks calling in some prescriptions under doctors and doctor's name and then they would have fake patient prescriptions so then some of his fellow colleagues whatever the case may be they will go in and they will pick them up from different pharmacies so girl they saying that he called in to a pharmacy or whatever the case may be that was in Hiram or something like that and he used a doctor's real DEA and NPI number where they got this from though maybe was it from like you know so how they got caught was when they was filing the prescription, the, ph the pharmacist was just like, okay, the number is not matching the doctor's office. So they called the doctor themselves and was like, hey, did you fill out this prescription? Whatever the case may be. They was like, child, no. Nah. Honey, so when the girl or whoever it was went to go pick up the prescription, they said the car that she got out of was registered to uh, NBA Youngboy. So then when they asked him that young boy, did he have any involvement in it? He said, he don't know what they're talking about. No, he did, but then when they got to the house, they saw that there was some promethazine in the patient's name at the house. So I said, I know you lying. So as you can see, they charged this man with 63 counts. I don't know what to say. You go out there, you change your environment, but if you don't change your mental, then you're going to always be stuck. We need you to do better, YB. We love you, but you got to do better for yourself. If it ain't about me, the count. Said 63. Next case. Next for the honey Iced Tea, we got Lil Mike and the baby. This is a whole lot of, whole lot of, because that little Mike boy can't catch a break. Mike, you might want to wrap it up <laughs> and just quit. No, I'm just saying, don't quit, baby. But you might want to just do videos on your own. And then something like this happened with the Krishan Rock. They came, came in there, beat y'all up. <laughs> Beat y'all up and slit the cameras. So the baby was on, I guess, on his 20 versus one. They still doing those. And um, when the baby came, I guess one of the girls that asked him, does he suck far <laughs> out the butt? Why you ask that question? I don't know. 
So after the question was asked and I guess the segment was over, she came over to the camera with the baby and uh, there was a homeboy, a little Mike, and he was just like, so what are you, a professional fart sucker? Why don't you suck the fart like a you with this? Yeah, we got that look. You with this? Do what I do. I'm professional now. Fart sucker, professional fart sucker. <laughs> so as you can see, the baby didn't take that lightly. He asked the boy could he delete the video, whatever the case may be. The boy said he wasn't gonna do it. They got some words, altercations, whoop whoop. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my. I just deleted it, bro. Just deleted it. Yeah, delete it. Just playing like I'm a whore. Right? I paid the baby $20,000 and he walked all set, bro. He walked all set, bro. I'm going to be real, bro. Like, I'm defeated, bro. Like, I don't know how long I could do this shit, bro. My grandma gave me $10,000 out of the $20,000, bro. Because she wanted to see this video before she go, bro. She battling cancer right now, bro. Like, and I did this shit for her, bro. My great grandma, bro. Like, <sighs> I'm at a loss for words, bro. Can y'all please tag the baby and tell him, please run this video back, bro. Please run a video back, bro. I put my all into this YouTube shit, bro. I'm 19, bro. I'm from New Orleans, Louisiana, bro. A lot of people don't make it to this position. So I don't think they were able to finish recording. I'm not sure. But honey, it caused some problems. The Mike, he was upset. He went live. That twenty thousand might have not have been a lot to you, bro. But that was a lot. That was a lot to me, bro. This is my livelihood, bro. I eat off this YouTube stuff, bro. Like I have no other source of income. This is all I got, bro. I'm nineteen, bro. I dropped out of college for this, bro. Like, bro, when you walked out, I felt, I felt worthless, bro. I texted my mom, bro. I'm gonna put the screenshot on the phone. I texted my mom, bro. I feel like a failure, bro. I feel like a man without this, bro. If I don't make it, bro, she gonna be stuck where she at, bro. I'm trying to save my mama, bro. Like, real life, bro. I'm going through a lot in real life, bro. My dad died when I was free, bro. I'm trying to help my mama, bro. She been working all these jobs since she was 19, bro. She ain't been 19, single mom, bro. I'm trying to make it out, bro. I'm trying to make it out, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. That wasn't just a bid to me, bro. Well... Lil Mike, I, baby, you might want you might want to go back to college. If this all you got, baby, I don't know what to tell you, sweetie. That twenty k could have been used on something else. You better stop paying these folks for clout. They don't give no fucks about you. If people want that money, leave your hand and go into their hand. That is. their money. But I don't know if y'all do contracts over there. But baby, you better start contracting up and protect yourself because it just seems like you be going off of handshakes and bullshit. So then the guy's friend come out and this is what he's saying. Fast forward and kick me out the, the based off body cause the baby felt plead cause, I, cause he made a comment about sucking fart out of and I said you're a prof sucker, fart sucker. And he felt plead. Your homeboy owe you 20K. Because I be damned. Somebody invite me somewhere and then you try to play in my face. Bitch, I'm walking out with the money too, bitch. I didn't pay for this. I paid to be in here, do what I gotta do. But then your folks disrespecting me, bitch, bye. Because your friend messed up your play off his pride. That's why they call that shit your homies. Your homies need to support you from home, not your bitch. Not at your business, homie. So anyway, child, the baby come out and this is what he say. Y'all like wanna know the idea, go to the idea, young nigga. Because I'm feeling good tonight. I'm on some other shit. You see what I'm saying? I was on some other shit the other night, too. That's why I just, I just left peacefully. I said, hmm. This is preposterous. I'm out of here. But since, you know, you getting on here and you, you making your little story up and all that. And, and now you, you, got, you got people playing with my name. Like I just came and just robbed you. Check this. This is what we going to do. I'm going to take the $20,000 that you gave me for my time for that hour plus that I spent it up. And I'm going to give $1,000 a piece to them 20 girls that you paid to let a lame nigga like you disrespect them, you know what I'm saying, for that little YouTube check. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that 20000 that you gave me. I'm going to give it to them girls, them queens, you know what I'm saying, because they don't need to be having no lame ass nigga like you. 
play with them no way. Did the baby pay you or any of the girls or no? Or did he just cap? No, he I didn't get paid. Bro, you gonna sit up here on a hot horse like you not the same nigga that did this. And the same nigga to drop this. I don't know how to dance, but can lean and make the ghetto bitch put the hands on their knees. Then, baby, you might as well kiss that 20k goodbye. All right. Well, that ain't about me. Let's kiki. Let's kiki. Next with the sugar honey iced tea, we got a boogie and elephants. And at this point, shut the fuck up. Both y'all, shut up. We really don't give a damn. Y'all do this every other year, every three months, and then get back together. You want to sit here whine and cry, and he want to whine and cry, and make an album, and you get back together. It's like, child, shut up. So, Ace Boogie goes to his Instagram page and posts a story after this influencer shows that Ella has been messing with her man. So, Ace Boogie puts up this right here, and he says, I'm really DTB for life. Bitches be worse than these niggas. And me, I'm like, what the fuck is a DTB? So I'm looking, I'm writing on Google and shit like, what's DTB? And it means don't trust bitches for those who didn't know. <laughs> okay. And he said, bitches is really worse than niggas. Well, baby, get you a man. Because obviously you don't want to be with her. All you did was cheat, 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 cheat. And maybe you're cheating on her with all these other women because you're trying to convince yourself that you like women when really you don't like women. I don't know what the fuck going on. But hell, stop trying to make it seem like the women is the problem when you out here doing shit yourself. Because you upset because she turned around and did you on you. Now you mad because you just dating you? Nigga, hush. Now you want to cry a river because she finally got a backbone and did what you done did. Well, I know you fucking lying. People were saying the girl was lying or whatever the case may be. So then the girl, the influencer, what's her name? Diaz or something? She said, well, what I got a lot for? So I'm just like, child, well. So then people said, well, girl, why is you mad anyway? He your ex. So I'm guessing the girl was like, you know, Ella broke girl code because mind you, I made Ella a brand ambassador. Meaning, you know, they had to have some type of conversation, type of business ship. I ain't gonna say friendship, but some type of communication to where I guess the girl was like, you know what, well, we cool. So then she went on to say, whenever Ella came to Miami, she would ask her for recommendations for makeup artists. She would send Ella there. She said, not only that, it would be for like stylists and things like that. So she said, Ella came out there. She had a booking in some hood. She went, but none of her friends would go with her. Whatever the case may be, the girl was basically saying Ella broke girl code because we were somewhat type of cool. So you all in my face, but then you looking at my man. I think that's fucked up because she said, I don't care what you go through with any of your men. I would never look at your men to date your men. So I guess it just rubbed her the wrong way. Like, damn, all this time we was cool. Was you really looking at my nigga? So that's when the girl goes and she asks uh, Ace Boogie and she said, get your baby mama. <laughs> I'm like, adding her ex is nasty work. <laughs> so then, after she posts that, Ella goes and she posts this. You may think he is coming back to you, but I doubt it. And I'm just like, Ella might want to calm down, because baby, it ain't going to last long. You're going to be running back over to Ace Boogie, honey, by the end of next week. So childhood, she's talking about something. I got your man and you can't do nothing about it. Girl, everybody done had your man. It's about time you took something from somebody. Oh yeah, child, I don't know. He been cheating ever since Obama was, was president. <laughs> and your ass was taking him back. Girl, you gonna take him back now. You just have, you got some new ping and you don't know how to act. Well, baby, you'll be right on back. And that girl, if she was smart, I would have taken her boyfriend too. And if anything, I'd be giving me some ace book of dick. That's what she need to do. That's how you flip that. Oh, you wanna be petty? I can be petty too. And I'm gonna fuck your man. Because my type of bitches. We'll be fucking the hinges off your nigga while I'm typing, come get your baby mama. Because responding to a whole paragraph, trying to be sentimental with just a song, <laughs> that is, that is crazy. Like, bitch, okay, fight me. Because obviously, bitch, you want to fight. That's what you, that's what you want to do. I done told you I was upset and you send me a song or oh, I got your man and you can't do nothing about Oh, girl, see me outside, ho. Fuck wrong with you. And then on top of that, the word on the curb is, Ella been known for being messy because this ain't the first time she been called out on that. And that's why her man A Boogie been cheating like that. See, I feel he was cheating because she was cheating. They was both cheating and then cheating is cheating. I don't know, girl. Don't get me to lie. But child, let me hush because that response Ella gave, very much gave, I am an Aquarius and that's what she is. If it ain't about me, let's keep getting it. Okay? Next with the 
Sugar Honey Iced Tea, we have Brother Ray and Adrian. And so, Adrian took it amongst himself to go into her live and he wrote in the comments, I'm on your body. Now, something about I'm on your body to me gives me mosquito energy. <laughs> like, sir, get off of me, please. But I don't know, some people thought it was corny, some people thought, well, hey, at least he shot his shot, because you never know. But I just feel like it could have been another way to do that. So then he goes on and he says, be at my next fight, May 31st, at the Hard Rock, on me. Now when he said on me, I said, oh, now we talking. But you know, you just gotta be careful when you move like that, because like, what, what is it giving, child? What is it giving? This is all in the comments, like, Calm down, sir. Bring it down just a couple of notches. But anyway, if we really gonna be real about the situation, don't this man have like sick baby mamas? So girl, you, I don't know. And this did sound kind of aggressive. So a little bit after that, Corderay then goes onto her Instagram story and this is what she had to say. Try to bag me on an Instagram live is fucking crazy. Like, that get the fuck on, okay? Go on, fuck it. Okay, I'm not interested. Like, that's fing corny. Fuck, what are we doing here? I'm going, I'm getting the fuck. Go look at my post, I'm about to post my cover. Bye, y'all, I love you. Now, when she came out with that video, I was like, hold on. <laughs> this must be coy, because it ain't coy to right. It don't sound nor look like her. But who, hey, who am I to judge? I don't know. You know, she said she want to drop Lorraine off her name, so maybe this is a whole new persona. I don't know, but. I don't know this girl. Anyway, people started to get upset by how she responded to him. They're like, girl, you could have just stayed quiet. You didn't have to say nothing because this right here was just very much rude and disrespectful. The man was just trying to show you that he liked you. I don't know. I thought it was a little bit much too. Just, you know, you could have just kept ignoring him, child. I say the truth. Sometimes them weeks be giving people a new attitude. And no offense, because the word of the curse said somebody with the size of a body of a 12 year old ain't for the top, <laughs> ain't for the top of me like that. <laughs> No. So as she saw all the backlash like she was getting, she's like, I wasn't trying to be harsh. However, I hope he wins his fight and many more. And I was like, girl, well, didn't you date Blueface? I mean, I don't know. So you say all, but Blueface is fine though with a big ass. Never mind. I'ma let it go. I just feel like, was you not trying to be harsh or you just didn't want to keep getting dragged? That's the tea. If it ain't about me, let's kick in it. Okay. And next for the Chicago Ice Tea, we have Gorilla. <laughs> Now, now I'm like, child, they done got Glow. So Glow was in Georgia and she had got caught for a DUI. They had posted her mugshot, whatever the case said. And everybody was just like, well, damn, Glow, what she was doing? So then, honey, they put out the body cam and this is, is what happened. Not nothing I can go to jail. That's not what I'm asking you. I just want to know. I mean, I'm going to find it either way. I'm just. I mean, it's I maybe not... like a, a two point something. Do you know who I am? No, I don't. No, no. Oh. You said an opening. I don't. An opening way? No, what? it's called the club. It's called Open Me. It's having a. I think I've heard of Opium. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. I'm sorry. You don't know who I am. No. Okay, well, you're not out. I know last name Woods. Uh, from what I just saw, but oh, yeah. that's all. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Um, but yeah, it's okay. I'll wait on you. Enlighten me on who you are. You're seeing me. No, because you still gonna pick on me. You don't matter who I am. Pick on you? I'm not picking on you. You're driving I'm a... and I can smell alcohol off your breath. But I'm not drunk. I can tell you that. I can promise you that I do. But... Uh -huh. Yeah, I'm on your TV. Now, Corderay goes on to say, Corderay, you know, you got a lot of people saying they're glow. This, this woman don't give a damn about who you are, great that You ain't Taylor Swift, she don't know. Then I, I was like, it would've killed me and she would've been like, but I don't wanna glow to jazz. <laughs> I'm sorry, that was corny, but she, she should've said that. She should've said, I don't wanna glow to, <laughs> glow to jazz. This, I would have been. We, but she probably did hear your lyrics, and when you said before I let her whole play with me, I don't eat some jail food. So she was like, "Well, bitch, go eat that jail food," because she did play on your side. But if we gonna call a spade a spade, I do feel she passed that sobriety test. But what we all know, at the end of the day, <laughs> I cannot I can't even say that without saying us. At the end of the day, the day got an end. 
But at the end of the day, we do know that those tests are just to make you fail anyway. They just want to have evidence against you. You're not meant to pass them even if you do pass it. So child, boo. Was I the only one who was hoping when she asked the officer, do you know who I am? And you wanted her to say, from drunk driving, just because you didn't hurt anybody don't mean that somebody else has not done that. You know what I'm saying? You have to be sensitive to other people. So yeah, I just feel like that was um, a little bit insensitive to those who have had people who have lost their lives to drunk driving. So just be mindful of things you post. But anyway, we gonna leave it at that, child. So if it ain't about, <laughs> if it ain't about me, let's kick it. Let's get Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Brian McKnight. Now, Brian McKnight, I don't know what to say about you, my mom. I know a lot of women are upset, like, damn, I really walked down the aisle to this man's song for my wedding. Are you serious? So, anyway, he went under the comments, because there was a lady talking about how, you know, people should raise their kids in the way that they should go and they should not depart from it, and a lot of other things about God. And he had the audacity to respond with, well, God wasn't talking about kids that were made from a product of sin. Now, hold on, Mr. McKnight. <laughs> hold on. Did I read that right? And then when you turned around and said, two, she raised them, not me, bitch. That was all I needed to hear because now that just told me everything I needed to know because how are you upset with your children on them feeling the way they feel when you just sat here and said, she raised them, not me. So yes, they can resent you or have no love for you or hate you, whatever the case may be, and you wanna go try to run and find another family because motherfucker, you weren't there. So then he goes on to speaking about some removing evil and negativity out of his life. Well, sweetie, you're supposed to teach those things to your children. But when you sit here and say, she raised them and not me, then nigga, you failed. And any woman who would date or marry a man who denies his children, baby, you are the problem too, and you might want to check yourself. Because if he did it to her, he'll do it to you. And so his son comes out and he says, Oh, I'm the evil one, says the guy who will make me go into the bathroom at the age of 15 to clean out his used condoms before Lisa got home. And I said, clean what? And he goes on and he also says, says the guy who will forge our signatures on our name. And I'm just like, okay, you see what? Brian McKnight, you might want to hush for these kids expose everything about you. Now, I feel like they was keeping it cool, but when you keep pushing their button, they're gonna let everything out, and you might want to be quiet because it's giving very much Brian McEvil and not Brian McKnight. And, and then I just go back to the, the new wife. She trifling too because you let him name y'all son the name of his son that he already got that he ain't claiming. Bitch, you ought to be slapped, ho. Hell, I know you lying. But watch, watch what I say. The ones he cherishes the most will be the ones that give him the biggest heartbreak. Watch this. He's putting all that love and all this stuff into these new children. They gonna break this man hard. They ain't even gonna love this man. Cause remember, you gotta reap what you sow and it's gonna come back and bite you in your ass. And if you really think about it, where the curve is, do you think that his kids were really evil? Or do you think he's trying to get rid of the people that saw the real him? Now that's something to think about, child. Uh, and then you got the fucking audacity to say, children of sin. But nigga, you was the one doing the sinning. So how your children is the sin? No, no, nigga, you were the one that was the sin. And I was just thinking, maybe the new wife ain't leaving because she know what happened to her. And then I was like, no, he got them in his wheel calling them his babies and they grown as fuck. But I don't know, maybe she got some witchcraft on them. I don't know, because this is crazy. If it ain't about me, let's keep eating this cake. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Brewski and Rose. Now, this isn't any mess, this is just a gag. Like, I am gagging because I never would've thought Ruby Rose and Drewski. And the thing that's so funny is because he's a comedian, everybody's like, okay, 
Where's the skit? Drop it. We want to see it because they're just like, how could he pull Ruben? But to be honest, Drewski's not an ugly, heavy set guy. I think he's actually handsome. He has a sense of humor. He's funny, cool. Like, that's the catch. Now it just depends on what that wood giving. Is it like a, you know, is it Woody Woodpecker? What's it giving? You know, is it a beaver dam? Like, what's tea? But if you like it, I love it. I get somebody. <laughs> Somebody said, why she look like a McDonald's? <laughs> why she look like a McDonald's toy? I said, ooh, now that they said it, I can't unsee it. But anyway, I wish them well if they go together, whatever the case may be. But uh, one thing Miss Ruby gonna do is she's going <laughs> she gonna secure that bag and girl get it by any means, honey. Oh, all I can think about is child, but he turned her every way but loose <laughs> in that room, child. Ooh, he done grab that little head like he trying to read them thoughts. Oh yeah, baby, he locked in. And he done lost that weight too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But all right, shout out to Nutty Professor and JD Pinkett. This is cute. I bet he treated her like the pink starburst. <laughs> all right, well, <laughs> if it ain't about me, go ahead, Drewski. Next game. Okay, guys, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, Ducky, we have Drake versus Rick Ross. Now, last week we saw it got crazy. Everybody just going crazy. So Rick Ross is still not letting up. Now, mind you, there was a diss track that came out from Drake, but everybody was wondering if it was AI because they didn't know if it was real. We was like, okay, we waiting for Drake to drop. So, child. After everybody's assuming what it was, Drake finally drops the track that everybody was thinking was AI. So now we are knowing that it's Drake. How the you be stepping with a size seven man's on? And everybody was already assuming that this was about all the rappers anyway. Now I ain't gonna lie, it was it was decent, and I thought you know, hey, okay, cool. But baby, y'all ain't gonna get me to thinking Drake wrote that. It already had three writer credits on there anyway. And don't get me to lie. After hearing everybody else's stuff, baby, Rick Ross really went the fuck off. He took, like, Kendrick Lamar, all them. They really was doing some shit. And Drake come out with a twerk song. Like, bitch, I don't wanna twerk. I wanna hear some shit. Like, bitch, ain't nobody trying to get on no pole. That's a damn, that's a club song, bitch. Cut that shit the fuck off and talk some shit. But y'all love that man so much, you suck his dick like it's just the best thing in the world. Y'all seen that flimsy slinky hell you want with that? But if that's what y'all want to do, that's what y'all want to do. So then Drake goes and he writes Rick Ross. Imagine having 80 million to spend on the crib. But shit, your shit, but bitch, your shit be steals like you gotta come up from a police auction. Then when he went on about the 48, the 48, I said, my God. And for those who read this and didn't get it, the breakdown is basically, you only have that money to spend on your crib and the deal you got is questionable. Your island house is a joke. <laughs> and it's actually the same size as my everyday home. Your jet, <laughs> your jet is rented and the liquor you keep advertising, the owner owns you. <laughs> so I'm just like, child, that's a mess. And why they only here, <laughs> and why they only here talking about that acres of land? I'm just like, <laughs> well bitch, I got a little front yard in the back. I'm happy with, I'm happy with my shit. So this is some rich talk for me, Sally. Let me just mind my business, cause girl, I, I ain't got no shit. So after Rick Ross posts all that, y'all know this man is not gonna stop. He is going to keep going because Rick Ross wants that reaction out of you. He wants you to stand on your business. So then he goes live and this is what he said. Ain't nothing wrong with talking shit, but Drake, you gotta keep it at one line. Shit you doing gotta take 20 minutes. One line or don't DM me no more. No, 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 no. I know why Drake don't do what I do when I talk and he don't talk. He'll take a picture and post because he got ghost writers for his captions. He got, listen to me, he got people sitting around. What's Rick gonna do next? Let's go, let's go, come up with it. Come on, BBL Drizzy, just pick your phone up and talk to the people. You okay? We know you may be shallow. We know, but everything fine. Everything's gonna be okay. It's therapeutic. It's therapeutic. Release. Release what's inside of you. It's called Earth Strong. White boy, white boy, BBL Drizzy, I got a question. I saw you posted you got more money than Ricky Rose. And let's assume you did. Well, your best friend, Birdman, his house went into foreclosure five years ago. You done watched that man struggle them five years and ain't get that man a mansion. 
Because if you got more money than Rosé, what's another 50 million, white boy? White boy, it's one for 40 on Indian Creek. It's one for 50 on Star Island. You got 48 hours, white boy, if you got Ricky Rosé money. Ain't none of my niggas winning foreclosure. Come on, white boy. I'm finna bust a bottle. White boy, don't do stunner like that. Come on, man. What happened to that? 48 hours, the countdown has begun. And that old jet you got, they gave it to you free. That's a 1978. Be safe on that, Drizzy. Be safe on that plane. That old mother God is great. That's what, this is a perfect opportunity for y'all to see the type of white boy he is. Soon as that pressure on white boy, he gonna go post stunner, stunner in that $20 jogging suit. No, the man needs some paper. And make him say, I got your back. He don't want to say that to that mark. He got that mark back. That mark ain't fed him none. But since you done watched him struggle and gave him, show the world you go buy him, post him when you go buy him a mother $40 million mansion, white boy. Huh? Huh? Soon as Rose on and you call your mama, then I'm going I'm to post Birdman and kiss him on TV. Mm -hmm. Nah, nah, that's what white boys do. Show your real when you go buy him that big mansion. You know how Stunner and them used to do it. Huh? When Stunner was on top, when you was... Come on, white boy, show the world. We watching now. Ooh, you post when you need them. Ooh. And I'm over here like, well, honey, if you don't want him to talk to you, just block him already. And, and on top of that, I mean, like, I love Rick, Drake, cool, but you got to stop calling this man white boy when you got Abraham Lincoln. And you got Abraham Lincoln tattooed on your chest. So, baby, you hush with the white boy shit. Baby, you got slave owners all, <laughs> all over your body, sir. It's getting boring. It's getting corny. You're doing too much. I can't even stop focusing on that Roblox beard. Like, it's giving very much ski mask. So just hush. Leave us alone. So then, finally, Drake come out. And he has another track. A whole different altitude. High up in the sky like I'm Howard you. I see what Drake kind of did there. Because, you know, on the last one, people said that he had ghostwriters. So to use... <laughs> God forgive me. So to use a dead person's voice... It's like, okay, that's what you really call ghost writing. Because he, he wrote for the ghosts. Uh, Drake. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This man is crazy. Like, he be doing stuff like you really got to think about his shit. But it was just like, okay, like, nigga, come on. Like, I, I like it. I don't like it. Does that make sense? Like, it's, I don't know. And then on top of that, it's to be using the AI for me. Like, that's, it was kind of like corny and cringy. And then now you rushing Kendrick when it took you a whole, what, month to say something bad? Boy, if you don't sit down and shut up, like, let's be for real. People don't know how to appreciate, like, real music now. They like popularity. Like, when you're popular, people will ride for you no matter what. And they will overlook what's really the good shit. And Kendrick is good shit. He's a lyricist. He's amazing. Drake, I feel, I do think Drake is good. But because he's more liked, people are going to think his responses and rebuttals are just top tier. When really, if you take your fan out of it and be like, let me just sit and look. You'll be like, oh, girl. Aubrey is an entertainer. And that's what he's doing. He's entertaining. And Kendrick and them are rappers. And it's just, let me just hush. So then, Snoop come out and Snoop say this. They did what? When? How? Are you sure? Huh. Y'all have a good night. And to all. <laughs> Why off? Everybody calling my phone, blowing me up. What the fuck? What happened? What's going on? I'm going back to bed. Good night. Fuck it. So, so I don't know. People saying they think Snoop had to give him permission to use the AI, but I don't think so. I feel like 
when you're doing an AI and it's just a track, you're not making no money off of it, do you really have to get that person's permission? Because it's just like, you know, just the voice. I don't know, it's not making no sales. I don't know how that works. But anyway, this beef is crazy. I feel like it's just getting a little cringe now. They just let it go, whatever, but yeah. If it ain't about me, let's get kidding. Okay! Next on the docket, we got Hurricane Chris versus Kevin Gates. <laughs> at this point, anybody else wanna fight? Who wanna fight me? Who wanna fight at this point? Cause it's like everybody is fighting. Like y'all holding beef from years ago. So, <sighs> Hurricane Chris come out and this is what he says to Kevin Gates. And think you feel some type of way cause I took a picture with Travis Like I'm supposed to get in family business It's your family So after I heard that, I'm just, I'm just like Look, Chris, Hurricane Come back next week And we'll talk about it Cause I don't know what the hell is going on Like this is crazy Y'all got to beef it, Uzi got a purse Yeah, I just don't know what the hell is going on I just don't know what the hell is going on I just don't know what the hell is going on I cannot keep up This looks so eclipsed and got the rap still for Walmart Justin's podcast, wherever the case may be, and this is what he had to say. You say rich baby daddy, it's like Drake has a rich baby daddy named Lucian and Universal. Wow. <laughs> He's like, you know, like, man, my daddy got it. You know what I'm saying? It's like, wow. my daddy controlled the spins. My daddy got the DSPs. My daddy, Drake wow. has a rich baby daddy named so, Lucian. So all of his streams in the number <laughs> ones is controlled by someone named Lucian. Now, I'm just like, Justin, hush. Kanye could have been like, the sky is purple. Wow. Oh, uh, the lakes are green. Wow. <laughs> Shit. Dogs can fly. Wow. Just it. Nigga, if you didn't know what the fuck he was talking about, just say you didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. I think it went over everybody's head when Kanye was talking about the rich baby daddy thing. And he was talking about Lucian because if y'all don't know, he was also mentioned in Diddy's uh, lawsuit thing. So, let's try to see if we can get this all into a circle. So, if y'all don't remember, Drake tried to call Kendrick a corporate puppet in his push-up diss song, right? So, what Kanye is doing is he's calling Drake a hypocrite. See, but because y'all hate somebody so much, y'all overlook the facts they be speaking. Kanye really be trying to expose shit and tell y'all shit, but because you do not like him, you think everything he's saying is stupid. So he's basically calling Drake a hypocrite because you're doing exactly the same thing you're calling Kendrick Lamar out for, supposedly. So Drake is also like a puppet and a pop star. So child, tread lightly. I, and then like, word on the curve, I saw a lot of people in the comments saying, oh, Kanye wants to be included so bad. Kanye this, Kanye that, Kanye this. But because y'all so far up Drake ass, and y'all love Drake so much, I, I, like I said again, Drake is good, Drake is cool. But Drake has been dissing Kanye every chance he could get, like on almost every song since 2016. Y'all did the Hoover concert together. Me and the rest of the world thought y'all were back cool. What happened after that? Like what happened after that to where y'all didn't, because I thought, once that concert it, happened, it cuts Drake's soul. It's like he signed a, uh, his soul to the devil to not 
be cool with me to have to like this is his job to go against god wow wow and it cuts his soul uh, all right if it ain't about me let's get it and next to the docket we got Chris brown versus quavo his beef with quavo been going on for a long time hey quavo get your bitch ass out here yeah oh, hey, 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 back next yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. two seasons in a row cruelly you guys are champions you know, I heard y'all call out some people last year. Yeah, he was scared. Quavo. Who's scared? Quavo, bring your out of here again. I said, said it twice. Second time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, second time. So I don't know if any of all that was for real or fake, but because you know, men can get really passionate or behind sports, whatever the case may be. But word on the curve is they've been not liking each other since 2018. That's the cheat. And then, I don't know if y'all remember this breezy fam from 2017. Look over the corner, Chris leaning on the car like, nigga, what's up? So yeah, this is nothing new. Chris Brown been going at the Migos for I don't know how long. Remember when he was going at it with Offset? He called him Pooty Tang, and then he was like, I should have sent Cardi B flowers because I ain't got nothing wrong with her. It's just the nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just been at them, even Soldier Boy. You know what I'm saying? When Soldier Boy like uh Karuchi's picture, him and Soldier Boy went at it, and then they end up squashing it because too many people got involved trying to make money off the beef, but Chris really wanted to just fight. And that's why him and Quavo had their little ongoing thing because of Karuchi as well. So, child, this ain't nothing new. And Chris ain't no business with anybody that got a problem with him. So, anyway, um, Chris comes out with his diss track out of nowhere, and this is what it was. Okay, let's get down to the facts. I'm dripping red. Don't let this on be sh fool you. Get ripped to shreds. Quavo talking like he a thug. You a bitch of dread. I shit on niggas, I'm a defecator. I put Amigo in a ventilator. Stop talking about white beater when you beat your girl on an elevator. <laughs> and y'all, your last album was a weed tray. That was something we rolled up on. Bitch! Crazy how when he died, everybody really wished it was you instead. <laughs> New charter. I went Elliot and bought new water. That's hard. Fuck it! Pull up, crash, shout about your bay. What you? Look, I'm dance battle with my Drake. You been f your bag up when you punch me in the face. Tell my fashion week, you sparing who come punch me in my face. It ain't nothing but a fade. You know you lost a frame. Cause ran in your house, tied up your aunt cause you ain't pay. This bullet got your name. Don't ever bring up tape. Exposed, exposed. Boy, wanna dollar some Bye. You still fed up by Karuchi? You tried to beat up Tiana, okay. but Usher wouldn't let you do it. Usher. The cocaine got him, your honor. White. Bipolar disorder, no wonder. You was the great <laughs> you fumble. Going out sad, I'm watching you crumble. Why they got Quavo out here going back and forth with a singer that turned to a junkie? Never got light, skin versus brown skin. Finna divide the country. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Hey, hey, funny guy! 
I got a joke for you. What smells rotten and puts people to sleep? Um, not just gas? No! Your act! <laughs> Alright, well, if it ain't about me, <laughs> let's kick it. Y'all, that is all I got for the message Monday. Make sure you continue to send me the message to my DMs on Instagram so I can see them and keep up with everything that's going on. All right, like I always say, God only made one you. If you don't be you, then nobody else will. Until then, I will see you next Monday. Stay messy. Uh -huh. A lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on, there's a whole lot, a lot of going on.